I am going to create a DevOps project from scratch where I'm using different tools and techniques to deploy our application over the Kubernetes cluster. First, we need to create a project in a GitLab for source code management and the CI pipeline. So I'm going to GitLab and creating a new project. Let's create a blank project and I am renaming it to secure close. Yes, and it's under my username memo 786. Let's hit uh, public project and here we are. So we are created successfully our secure project over GitLab. So I'm going to clone this project in my local development machine. It is a remote uh, empty directory I'm created earlier. So I'm going to open uh, here. So I'm cloning this project in my local development machine. So I'm going to move in. Yes, this is cloned successfully. Let me open it up in my Visual Studio code editor. Okay, we are created. Let me create a directory named app where my source code and Docker files are there. So create a file. I'm creating a simple web application that run over the web over the browser and deployed in Kubernetes cluster. So it's a simple HTML page index.html created. Let me add it some content. Here I'm using hello. Welcome to secure closed DevOps project. And I can save it. Let me add my Docker file for creating docker images I'm using uh, nginx as my base image then copy index my application source code to into nginx default where it serves the content over the web application and last thing I'm exposing port 80 because my web application listen on port 80. So our application and Docker file are ready. We need to create a Helm chart for this. So I'm going to create Helm chart, Helm create secure close Helm. So here is our Helm chart created. It is a charts directory, it is a templates directory where deployment and service or service account and all supported YAMLs are there. Here we have our charts dot values and values dot YAML files. So we need to change some values in our deployment files. Let me edit this first. Let me change the container port to 80 because I have exposed in my Docker file to port 80. 
and second thing we need to update our image we need to change our image secure close latest so we are good we need to change the let me save it first we change to <coughs> secure close instead of our nginx because we are using our custom image so all thing is good now we need to push our code to git lab let me commit these changes with a meaningful message it's it's a commit hyphen and code migration now we need to push our changes hyphen rf origin main let me check the commands here are the commands existing repo git push branch m so we are all good to push our images sorry it's a uh, uf instead of rf mm, yes we have successfully migrate and push our code to remote repository from my local dev machine so we need to create a gitlab ci pipeline for building our docker image pushing our docker image to our jfrog remote artifactory and publish our helm chart for deployment over the kubernetes cluster so I'm going to click on pipeline instead we need to add a template I'm adding a file named gitlabci.yml in my root directory Once it is initialized, let me add some environment variable for credential storage. So it's taking too much time. Yes, it's opened up. Let me add some environment variables for communication with my JFrog artifactory. So let me add some variables. It's a uh, JF URLs. And here it's our uh, values. Add variable. Next, we need to add some other variable it's jfrog access token we need to update our token here add variables 
add another variable it's a jfrog user we add uh, my username here let me last my last variable it's a uh, frog password here is my password values now we are all good with our fabric variables now we need to create a pipeline not yaml file here is my yaml file where i'm including my remote repository and expose define some variables image name our helm chart is a uh, helm chart name is secure close helm we are defined already Here is my artifact tree repo helm repo url there is the build and push or publish our docker image to remote repository over the jfrog artifact tree later we need to publish our helm chart it's updating and installing the required c url and other tools later i'm package my helm chart and push my helm chart to remote repository later we use this helm chart to our kubernetes cluster so i'm going to commit at ci pipeline yaml file let me commit these changes we need to rename this pipeline so going to build and pipelines dot gitlab dot ci dot yaml file let me commit these changes it's auto triggered and if we go to pipelines so our pipeline is in progress let it finished first so here is our helm chart cube ctl get ns is my namespace in cube ctl get ports no ports are deployments running currently in my cluster so let finish our pipeline first to use helm chart in our cluster so the build is finished once our helm are published we use our helm chart to install in our dev cluster my artifact trees my docker repository i'm going to applications artifacts yes our pipeline is succeeded our build is and push and then our helm are published let me check our helm chart and yes this is my repository yes there is my image 
that post currently is 15 16 there is my fire url my images are post successfully and our helm chart is again post in our repositories this is a secure close 0, 0.tgz and it's published so here we export our x-ray scans report because this is a secure close artifact name it's a scan status is done and we are using a 15 june 2024 and here we export our data it's a policy violation services secrets and informative we talk about a pdf or csv or json secret services application and simply click on export to export our x-ray scan data and last thing we need to install our helm chart to our repository so this is our helm repo list yes helm install secure close this is our release name then uh, secure our token xt hyphen helm secure close yes here we go this is a status deployed 